Good uh, morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday and honestly it has been awful. It has been awful you guys. It's been dark. It's I got fall. It it's getting to be winter. It's getting dark and I have been taking vitamins so much because I really get affected by the dark. Like I hate waking up and it's dark and dreary and cold and wet and yucky outside. I just hate it. I got a purse. So we went shopping yesterday and Sophie got a new purse. She's got a backpack. She's got a purse. Old. You name it, she's got um, it. I got this thing, this little computer thing. It's a fake computer. You move it screen so the image moves. And it's minions. And the things that we wish you a Merry Christmas. We got that at the store the other day and she likes it. It's like a little thing you can put onto a necklace and it sings Merry Christmas in Minions. It's like a little laptop, super cute. It is Tuesday and you know what that means. We are headed someplace that Sophie and I like to go. Gabby's still doing schoolwork. Gabby, Gabby's like at that age where she stays home now and she just like does stuff, hangs out with her friends, doesn't really like to do stuff. I hate when they go through that age. I remember going through that age. I remember like my mom doing all this amazing stuff and me and my sister just staying home. Like it's so dumb. Anyway, we are going to the sales barn to see if there's any horses because Sophie has been dreaming about a horse that she sees there. If there's there. a miniature pony, we're getting it and it will go in the back of the car. I don't care. <laughs> Fortunately for us, the back of the car is full of horse feed. If so, there's a miniature pony, we are buying it. If there's a miniature point pony, but anyway, we are here. Every pony. time we come, we just we're come buying. to see if there's a horse. There, we used to come and there used to be horses all the time before we were ready to buy a horse. And now we're ready to buy horses and there's never a pony or a horse. How do we get in? This place does not handle the rain well. That's a perfect sled for Willow to pull. Isn't that cool? That's, that sled costs $20. Too much. Too much for that. I'd rather just buy a brand new one. Bigger, a bigger one. Cross your fingers, just wait. Do you think there's a pony? I hope so, oh, so we can so. buy it. Come on, Sammy boy. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. No horses. In fact, there are no animals. Look, there's nothing here. No horses, only cows and sheep. And goats. And goats. We're gonna go down and say hi to the goats and then we, we're done here. Big. No, this place is dead. We see a little sheep. A little baby sheep. Yeah, they all look friendly. More sheeps. Oh, hello. Black sheep. Hello. Black sheep. Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at, you can see the sheep that were like socialized and taken care of. I don't, I don't want a sheep because, it? sheep because, no, I'm not a shearing kind of girl. Hi. Yeah, that's why you pay some money. Hi, you're okay. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> it's so Hello, cute. Hello, goat. Hello, goat. Hello. Always friendly. I know. Look at his nub. It's been burned. Only one. You want to go in and see him? <laughs> I turn around and Sophie's holding him. Look at his nub. His horn is bloody. But you are really cute. Is it a boy? It's probably a boy. Only boys come here. Oh, you are really, really cute. I love him. We've done so many baby bottle goats. All right, let's see. The truth. Is it a boy? I think it's a girl. Oh. All right. Wrap her up. Happy birthday, Sophie. Yes. <laughs> no. This is my birthday and Christmas. Just joking. Yeah, I do too. It's definitely the right one for us. Wait, there's a little brown one. I like this one the best. I'll take this one, Gabby, can have a brown one. All right, we found another one, a brown one, but isn't that cute? He's injured and he's still so sweet. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh my goodness, we just come here for the baby cuddles. Oh, one day, baby goat. One day, maybe, okay? I don't, uh, I'll ask Dad. All right. Birthday and Christmas present. All right, ask Dad. We'll get um, Clayton. Yeah, 
All right, ask dad. Sophie phoned her dad, and all I hear is, the customer you are trying to call is unavailable. <laughs> so here's baby number two. This one looks a little more feisty. I feel like a traitor to the other one because I love it so much. This one's more afraid, Mom. Yeah. Oh, this one's gonna bite your bum. <laughs> he's cute. Oh, hello. I don't like this one. Yeah, he's too frisky. I don't think he's cute though. Yeah, they're cute. Look at that. Look at him. Hello. <laughs> we are home now, and I swear, I, I swear to God, our horses are like, let's hide. <laughs> They totally fit in, like they hide so we can't see them. Horses are so smart. Sophie has redone Trixie's crate. Put some new stuff in there so that Trixie can hide and have more stimulation. And this is what it looks like. And she's still digging. She's still digging, she loves to dig. I know I said in a previous video that I wasn't sure about the substrate because sometimes dragons have been known to get impacted and I didn't want her that to happen to her. But now, and then there are other people that swear by it and say like, this is what it's like in the desert and this is what they're used to. And now that I've used it, I've decided that it's actually not nearly as scary as I thought. It compacts really deep and really tight down in there and it's not like sand floating around. It's nothing like what I thought it would be like. I like it. She likes it. Someone that did mention I could just make like a dig box, put a box in there for her to dig with the substrate in it. And everything I read before said that substrate like that is more dangerous for like juvenile reptiles and she's older now and I think she's ready and I think it's time. So we're gonna leave it unless I notice an issue. So Sam bought one of these things from Canadian Tire the other day. Oh, Home Depot. Home Depot, when we went there yesterday. And he took it out of the box today and tried to use it and it, all the Squirt water the squirted bottom. out the bottom. A crack in the bottom. Had a big crack, so he took it back and this is what he uses to, what do you use it for? Spray people with. <laughs> spray bugs. He sprays bugs. We got those what Asian beetles that? right now. Sophie is making our daily ration for the chickens. She's giving them some chicken shells, some egg shells and some scrambled eggs. I've got some green, and I take out this bucket full of food every day. Instead of bringing like the feeder in, I bring a bucket out. All right, little chickens, out you come. Out you come for your treat. <laughs> right to their treat. She just, she just took a I know, they're so cute. I love them. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, they're dirty because it rained. They're not wet. They just have, yeah, she needs a bath. I'll give her a brush. What do you guys think? Oh, our little boy. He finally got brave. Nope. I love chickens, you guys. Chickens are literally as fun as horses, except for you can't ride them. So basically, a smaller version of Willow with two legs. Yeah. All right, here's some green stuff. Look how civilized our chickens are. They eat out of bowls. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Eat the green stuff. I'm in love with this color of eggs. So let's see the eggs we got today. Oh, we got four today? We got five yesterday. Wow, I love them too. That one's my favorite. So we have a cream colored one and then we have a blue one and then we have like a darker brown and then both of these ones are the same kind of color, but they're really pretty. They don't actually care about the green stuff when they can eat grass. They love the grass. So Sophia wants to take her dragon outside. She we've, likes it out here. Yeah, we've taken her outside before and we actually have like a harness that we could put on her. She, uh, I can't put it on. Why? She, it's, she just squirms too much. All right, well, let's do it. Here we go. There's leaves this time. Usually we bring her in the summer and there's no leaves. Don't put it on her back. What do you think? My niece took her bearded dragon Hi. outside one day and it freaked out. She's looking at me. Hi, sweet girl. All I want to take one is big leaves. Come on. Come on. You're cute. <laughs> Clearly she's a little scared. I guess if you're going to do a photo shoot, it's good that she's scared. <laughs> One thing I see all the time in the comment section is, Oh no, your pet is scared. It's scared. Don't do that. It's scared. Mm -hmm. But the only way your pet 
get not scared is to expose them to new things. So it's such like a catch-22. Some people believe that it's not good to expose your your pets to scary okay, things, okay. but you can't, your pet will never be comfortable in certain situations unless they're exposed to it. Hello, ladies. <laughs> Are you bored? Wow, you're chubbier again. Hi, Penny Pickle. I came to groom you and do your feet. <gasps> it's a good thing I did. You're dirty. <laughs> you're dirty. She said, but do you have treats? That is the actual question. Oh, just that, she says. But one thing about my girl is that she loves to be groomed and she loves for me to come to her and not use like any kind of rope or anything. I, she just likes me to just come and groom her. I love that about her. I love being able to do that. Yeah, you want it too? Okay, you hold on, it'll be your turn. You too, little missy. And they are shedding. I've shed her bum so many times. The problem when you have glasses is that when you groom your horse, you get covered in, in sand and you can't see. Oh, pick. So this is how much hay we have left. Crazy, right? We go through, I think, like 12 bales every two weeks, tip typically. But our horses are eating grass right now, so we don't even use that much. She also lets me pick her feet while she's just standing here. I can just go around to each foot the way I do all the time. She picks it up for me. This is what I made for dinner, you guys. It's chicken. Doesn't it look yummy? We pour it over rice. Don't you know that you're